It seemed like there were a lot of references to an ongoing investigation, but not a lot of answers from Barr. She was clearly on the defense here. How did she do in your opinion? Well, she was in a difficult situation, uh, but she does have the advantage that she is the new CEO. She was not around at the time uh, that these events occurred, so she can't have complete information, but it doesn't look good when you're constantly referring to, uh, we're investigating that right now. Well, she wasn't officially CEO, but she certainly has been with the company. She's a second generation GM or she's been with the company for many years. And she also, it's interesting, she said that a lot of the information uh, about this defect situation was not shared within the company. What does that say about the culture at GM? Well, she hasn't been in the proper senior positions that she should know everything that's going on in the company. Uh, therefore, I do give her uh, a pass to a certain extent. As far as the culture at General Motors, you know, it's kind of scary. It's hard to find an excuse for why they would see such a safety risk. No of uh, incidents where people had fatalities because of this, yet they continue to produce the same part. And speaking of the part, she was asked about it, um, not meeting specifications. Her answer was there's a difference between a part not meeting specifications and being defective. I mean, is that really an acceptable answer? Well, it's an interesting parsing of the words, and there is truth to it, but it's something that you don't want to hear, especially when we're talking about cases where lives have been lost.